some random bloke says leather apron club just dropped another video yes i was uh, i was planning to talk about it uh, and it's beautiful leather apron club is rocking it and he's on a streak he says that this is media representation week and that he's going to pull a new video about a new podcast every day of the week is that uh, isn't that fun every day this week we will have a leather apron club video I'm so happy that he's doing this work. So what are the results? Well, he's been looking into Sam Harris. And Sam Harris, that is one that I had noticed very early. It's one of my uh, the pillars of my red pilling uh, about the question of media representation was to see, holy shit, everyone is Jewish. And so the only way you can get on these place in these podcasts is to be Jewish. So that was my impression, but that was just instinctive. It was I, I never quantified it, uh, but those were my reactions a long time ago that I that I for a long time I had kept to myself. I was like, wow, that is a lot of Jews. Well, we now have a quantification. Letter Apron Club says. <clears throat> number of guest appearances so starting from 292 uh guests number of unique jewish guests 77 and number of jewish guest appearances because some of them come back twice uh that would be 113 number of white guest appearances 132 and so you basically have roughly uh, the same number of episodes that have a white guest versus a Jewish guest. And yet, Jews represent something like 2 point something percent of the American population, which means, and, and so basically the whites would be expected by their normal uh, population representation, the whites would be expected to be 30 times more frequent guests <laughs> than... Uh, than the Jewish guest by their proportion of the representation. And yes, there are also very low numbers on black appearances, 10, Hispanic appearances, 2. Uh, this means basically a Jewish overrepresentation in the range of 20 to 30x, what should be expected by a fair representation. So here you can see whites are underrepresented on Sam Harris. So that's Joe Rogan here, Sam Harris, and Lex Friedman. So Sam Harris gets the golden medal for the most Jewish overrepresentation at 1,700% <laughs> overrepresentation. Lex Friedman gets the second position at 1,130%, and Joe Rogan gets, it at, gets the bronze medal at 800%. New guy says, but Jewish IQ, JF, we've talked about this. I've already given, in the context precisely of reviewing uh, Eric Weinstein's statements about Leather Apron Club, I have already countered. Well, I, I have supported the Leather Apron Club counter of the Jewish IQ argument. And so I will not repeat it here. Well, excellent work again by Leather Apron Club. The guy just never stops. Go away, says JF. Would it be an advisable evolutionary strategy to study and adopt Jewish ideology and talking points in the year 2023? Should I go down this path to increase my chances and choices in reproduction? Well, it uh, it depends on. Uh, I mean, can you can you credibly uh, can you credibly incarnate a Jewish person? Can you? Can you stay in character? Because uh, if you were to try to do this, but then you get called out because you're not truly Jewish, I think there might be a problem. I think it's not about the ideology or the talking points. I think it's about a form of ethnic nepotism and ethnic preference that's at play here. That would be my my instinctual uh, guess. Uh, you know, the whole networking aspect of it, because. I don't want to say exactly when in my life, but there, there was a moment in my life 
who have been surrounded by Jews, like everyone. And, and I, I, I started wondering how did that happen? How did I end up in that employment where it's so Jewish that basically they're celebrating Jewish holidays at the job? And I think that the answer is some sort of social networking of, you know, preference and, oh, I'm going to take this Jewish person and, oh, I know the father of this Jewish person and, oh, yeah, this person I hear is good because some other Jewish person told me that he was good. I think it's how it works. Personally, I'm a man of meritocracy. I love when society is meritocratic. I would love it. And I think that that's why the letter apron club pursuit is absolutely just and because we want to to restore a form of meritocracy, even if it's imperfect. Just try to do it a little bit. Try to be meritocratic a little bit. Now, also realize that trying to be meritocratic doesn't mean that everyone will end up equal. But I don't think we are at the even trying stage. See? Because do something meritocratic and yeah, you're going to have some races underrepresented in this kind of stuff. But um, without the goal being equality, can we talk about meritocracy to begin with? Because I don't even want to reach equality. My goal in life is not to see this graph being fully flat and, and the guest of Sam Harris being exactly proportional to whatever representation they have in the population. That's not what I'm expecting. But I'm expecting a little bit more decency. A little bit more decency and a little bit more care in the selection process. <clears throat> uh, Royal says, if you were Jewish, Weinstein would be friends with JF. That is a possibility. I don't know how it works in his mind, but uh, you know, when, when I saw him invite all the, these nine black guests, for his black intellectual round table. You know what crossed my mind? What crossed my mind is if if I was black, Brett Weinstein may have read the revolutionary phenotype already. That's what crossed my mind. I don't care. I'll say it. There it is. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.